Hi, Scottish Mudlarkin here with Nicole and Craig. Today we've come along to Deep Woodland Dump. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there are so many dugout holes here that we're never going to exhaust the place. We're definitely going to have to come back. But today I'm on the lookout for some pipe bowls with the letter TW on them. You might know why. If not, I'll tell you a wee bit later on. Let's see what we can find. So we've just arrived and we've decided that we're going to climb into this wee nook just underneath the trees here and we'll see what we can find in there it got quite low here to avoid the trees so yeah folks have definitely been digging in here it doesn't look like there's any recent digging being going on yeah now do you know what i can see something in front of me that says we're going to hang around here for a few minutes anyway oh, you see it a fresh hole. <laughs> well there is a fresh hole there but there's also something else that i like to find Okay, I'm going to get on top of it before uh, I say much more. That means going underneath these trees. So there's a few things to look at a little bit closer here. There's a couple of bottles around. Mm. Even some wee bottles. Spotted one wee bottle, but you know, something kind of breaks my heart. Just a wee bit. <laughs> and it's this. It's this Bovro bottle. Sadly, it's broken. Ah. Now, it's a light colour as well, it's much lighter. Yeah, it does look a little bit kind of more golden. Yeah, I wonder if that has something to do mm. with the fact that it's iridescent. I wonder if it's like sick or mm. that's causing the problem. Maybe. But you know what? I think I've just found a wee pipe nest. It's just, just sort of over there. Can you see it? I see one pipe bowl and I've just spotted another one a little bit further in that wee hole there. Okay. Just below the nettle. The nest of the pipes. Let's go and have a look at that. So I can see one pipe, but I see the pipe bowl that you're pointing at there. Oh yeah, I see the other one. Very cool. So, this is good luck because, you know, as I said, uh, oh, oops, as I said, yeah, I'm on the lookout for pipes today. Now, I wonder, this is good. This is a really good example because it has that um, flattened oval shape here. Oh, so if you can see that oval yeah, shape. Uh -huh, yeah, cutty. Yeah, that, I, think, I think that's pretty... Uh, pretty particular to cutties mm -hmm. that they have a, a wider flatter um, stem and that gave mm -hmm. them a lot more strength because you know these things were tucked in the pockets of workmen uh, now does it have anything here no it doesn't oh, so is it just plain I'm not sure oh there we go we can see something on there mm -hmm. now that's interesting because I just get the camera in focus there there's a wee, a wee beastie it's, uh, it's crawling around. Yeah. Now you can see the word, it looks like it says man there, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, if the TW and the workman went hand in hand, we would expect to find TW on the uh, on the face side of this bowl, right? Ah, and is it not on there? No, we have nothing on there yeah. at all. So there's no absolute correlation between workman on the stem and TW on the pipe. Hmm. Let's have a look at that other one. We'll yeah. take that one, that's a good one. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit closer. Do you know what? I think if we were to have a little poke around in this area, I think we'll find a few more of these pipe bowls and stems. Mm. I'm going to take this one out and have a look at it a little bit. Right, so, now this is cool. Mm -hmm. This is a rounded, uh, hang on, I'm just going to get the focus on here. Now we can see that this has a rounded stem, right? Mm -hmm. So cutties were quite particular in that they had extra strength up at this end. Mm -hmm. Well, all the way along the stem, quite short stems. But they were extra strengthened by that flattening oval shape. And we can see that this one is just a plain old circular. So I'm not going to say for sure that it is or isn't a cutty, but it's not typical of a cutty. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, CTW. we see TW. Mm -hmm. okay. And we're going to stick by what I said before, <laughs> that that TW originates uh -huh. in the maker Thomas White. That's not to say that this pipe was made by Thomas White, because we know that the moulds were made and they were sent all around the country and at least 10 makers made pipes with a TW mark. This one looks to me like it has the Florentine design. See, that should have it up on this side as well. Is it? Oh, yes, yeah, it yeah. does. Yeah, you see that? That's very now, I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. Mm. There it's in focus. You can see that a wee bit better. Well, we'll clean it up. We can insert a clean picture. Well, that's a really cool start for me. I've found two bowls already. 
So we know I'm looking for bowls. What uh -huh. about you? What are you after today? I think I'm going to look for some pipe stems in order to make some beads on Sunday. So you look for the bowls, I look for the pipe stems. But I've just spotted something really, really cool. I think it's a really big inner stopper and it's just down there. I see it now. Mm. That's very cool. Yeah, it's Can really you get in big. there? Sorry, I'm, I'm cramping out the space here. Yeah, <laughs> These wee nettles, yeah. <laughs> We've got sticky willows and nettles here today. Okay, that's very cool. There's some writing on it as well. Can't quite make it out. There's a wee ant there as well. Okay, well <laughs> let's grab that then. Uh -huh. And we'll clean it up, give it a wee wipe and uh -huh. see what it says on it. Yeah. Do you know what? I've just seen something off to the left here as well. Oh, so, right. and I think if we're lucky, it's oh. the same as one of my best ever finds that I found in Kirkcaldy. Oh. Oh, and that yeah. was a long time ago. Can you see it? Yeah, that inkwell you found. This looks like an inkwell. It might not be an inkwell. Ooh. It might be a bottle. It looks like it's had oh. a metallic top, uh -huh. but that could be part it, of the inkwell as it well. It could have been, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a little silver lid and then you'd opened it up. So I think that's a capstan style inkwell and that's an awesome oh. thing. It'd be pretty big for a door handle and it's got a mm -hmm. little divot in here. <gasps> not sure if you can see that. So that suggests to me that this is a base and that okay. that is in fact an old uh, capstan style inkwell. Ooh, I'm absolutely loving that one. That's really nice. Let's that. have that as well. Yeah. Because I've just seen something else. And oh. do you know what? I think, uh -huh. unusually for this place, we can play Can You See, you see it? it? Okay. What is it you see? Now, there's something in here. It is so well disguised. Uh -huh. But it's very cool. I can see it though. You can? Uh huh. Okay. Can you see it? Let's get in a wee bit closer. You know, looking down the monitor, I can't see it, so I'd okay. gonna, anyone who can't see it gets forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> it's just north of the nettle. <laughs> yeah, and it's, okay, let's stamp that nettle down for me, please, then. Just save my fingers a wee bit of itching later yeah. on today. There we go. Aha, it's a vulcanite stopper. It is indeed. Okay, hello. I'll take that too, then. Let's have a wee look and see if that's got anything written on the top. Okay, I'll probably have to wipe it a bit. Okie dokes. Uh, J. Corey, I think it says. I think it says J. Corey. Can you see it? So you've had a chance to have a look at those stoppers. Mm -hmm. Can you read what's on them? Yeah, this one is really amazing. It's actually from the Alua Glasswork Company. And I really love this. There's amazing embossing on it. And it's huge. Find number one. Find number two is this vulcanite stopper. And it's from... G curry, I think, and it's Leith. So Leith is in Edinburgh. That's really cool. Now, find number three. Is this a really lovely capstan inkwell? And I think that's so far my favourite of today. That's pretty awesome. Uh, we've only found one of those before, uh -huh. and that was in Kirkcaldy. Uh -huh, um, yeah. We reckoned it had something to do with uh, you know nautical things. Uh -huh. This one. Maybe less so. Yeah, We're quite yeah. a wee bit away from the sea here. <laughs> but it's an awesome find. That is. But you know what? We should have kept looking left because I can see something really nice right at your feet. Cool. And I think I can see what it is as well. Mm -hmm. We can't leave this behind. No. I'm just hoping that it's in one piece. <laughs> oh, it's packed. It's packed food. <laughs> packed food, <Mark. laughs> Okay. Well, we'll leave the monk here and we'll just take the jar then. Right, that's perfect for little trinkets like this stopper. <laughs> Very cool. You know, I love these wee pots. They are really nice, aren't they? I really like the little ones and the big ones. Yeah. Let's take this Let's one. take that one, yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh, it's a pipe stem. It is indeed. Oh, that's very cool. I wonder if there's anything on it. It kind of looks a wee bit like there might be. Hmm. This one is really beautiful. I'm going to read out what it says here. It actually says 53 W Christie and on the other side it says Leaf. That's really nice and it has a nice floral marking on it. I think very similar to the bowl that you found. That's probably the kind of stem then that would have come from uh, a bowl with that same kind of floral marking, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Again, can you look at the length of that? Is that one squat or is that one rounded? 
Uh, it's it's rounded. It's so that one has the floral design on it, the same as the uh, pipe bowl that we found. Mm -hmm. And we know that the pipe bowl has TW on it, uh -huh. and we see that that one has William Christie on it. Now we know that William Christie made a huge amount of these uh, yeah. TW pipes, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Well, that's a pretty awesome start. Where do you think you want to look next? I think we'll have a look over there. Let's go do that. Okay, so we're going through the trees again, folks. Yeah. Through the woods. Oh, now we can see lots of little bits and bobs in here. I see lots of shards. There's a couple of things on the outside uh, that I'm going to grab. There's one definitely because we've already picked up a couple of them and they're so cute. Such a shame though. We find these uh, earthenware uh, bottles and they're all they're all broken up I guess you know the folks that are digging these holes have got the good sense to take those ones with them at least if they find them in one piece now this is an interesting thing I don't know if that's milk glass or not looks like it was do you know what that looks like it was maybe a wee doll's uh, milk jug or something like that that's very cute I'm gonna definitely take that show that to Nicole I think she'll like that. <laughs> now, I've just quickly burrowed around here uh, because I spotted this on the opposite side of that hole that uh, I just found the wee dolls milk jug in. And it's another one of these wee jars. You know, I think someday we're going to have to come back here and see how many of these we can collect. They're very cool. I really like them. And this one, again, is in one piece. That's a really great we find. Now it just looks like a kind of ordinary type bottle, but there's some embossed lettering on that. So I'm going to grab that and I'll take a wee look at what it says. Got to watch for the jaggy nettles though. These are jaggy nettles and one of them's already jagged my leg. So let's just grab that out. One of the really cool things about coming to these bottle dumps is that in amongst all the nettles and the jaggies you find wee treasure troves like this. For us, I think it's just going to be this wee bottle here. This wee inkwell. Just found something quite cool. Oh, okay. I want to show you. It's this bottle oh. and a wee cup. All right. Oh. We've got another wee inkwell so we'll just put that in the pile of... Uh, oh, nice. We ink wells. Oh, we don't have one like this yet. We don't. No, that's very cool. Cool, we snap off ink well. Aha, uh -huh, like very this cool. one. Yeah. Now that bottle. Okay, yeah. Ah. Huh. Oh, it has some writing on it. It's Listerine. Oh, Listerine, of course. <laughs> L-I. I didn't see the L-I there. <laughs> If you thought body shaming was a feature of modern advertising, then just check out some of these old Listerine ads. They're brutal. So that's a very old bottle of Listerine. Yeah, the mouthwash that you can still buy. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, one of the things that uh, I've realised in looking at sort of like you know, the kinds of things that the Victorians had in their uh, cupboards mm -hmm. and the poisons and all the rest of it mm -hmm. is that we still have a great deal of that stuff hanging around in our house nowadays as well oh uh, yeah yeah we don't have so many uses for arsenic anymore no but you know bleach and chlorine and Washing ammonia and yeah yeah all these detergents <laughs> mm. that's very nice cool yeah. find yeah, yeah. sadly it has that Ooh, little crack in the bottom there. It's very cracked, there. isn't it? Hmm. That's okay. a shame. Well, I'm going to plant that so that I can show <laughs> show everybody that crack there. There ah, we go. Yeah, yeah, and it's going right through most of the most of the bottle. I think it would hold up, but it's uh, yeah, it's not going to hold any liquid. <laughs> no, certainly not going to be used for mouthwash oh. anymore. We'll maybe leave that one behind then, because right. you know what, we're fussy pants nowadays. Yeah, yeah. So I think we'll leave that wee Listerine bottle here, but I'm definitely going to take this lovely little inkwell and this little uh, a present from Edinburgh, it yeah. says. Oh, isn't that so cute? Very cool. Mm -hmm. Nice wee thing. Yeah, I'll take these two then. Now that's a lot of writing on this broken cod bottle. Of course, no marble in it, 
but there's a lot of writing so let's see what it says this bottle um, can neither be bought or sold <laughs> that's cool what does it say there's some on the other side the national forsyth forest edinburgh Oh, I'm having that. I wonder if Craig can cut that down. Maybe just right here, where the bottle is about ten times as thick as a um, a modern bottle. I'm definitely going to take that. But you know what? I've just spotted something that I've been looking for for ages. It is mainly broken, but actually there are two things. Okay, one thing first. You see it? It's like a little thimble. I think it's a, a doll's teacup. That is very nice. I'm taking that one and now I'm going to show you the other thing that I just saw. Can you see it? I'll take it out of here. Oh, ho, ho. although we live very close to Dundee, we've never yet found a single piece of these on the beach. Uh, and I'm really, really happy with this. Although it is broken, I think I might just uh, either leave it like this or uh, put an awful lot of milliput on this but it's a Kyla's jar a Dundee marmalade jar that is so cool ah uh, that's definitely gonna have to come home with me there's so many interesting shapes and shades and stuff but this wee thing here oh. with its nice embossed glass uh, finish there <laughs> but just over here I've seen something and I don't know, I wonder if it's possibly the biggest jam jar I've seen so far ah. or if it's something else. Mm. And it's this, mm -hmm. this right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What could it be? Let's try, oh it feels, it feels, yeah it feels disappointing. <laughs> the minute I, I, I took hold of that I could feel the weight just said disappointment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to be whole, never mind, you know what, I'll turn that up. It's a weird shape though. I'm going to turn that back upside down, I'm going to leave it in there and then somebody else might share my disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole has said on many occasions that she really loves an embossed bottle and this, this is about as, as good an embossed bottle as we're likely to find. I think we found one like this before, yes we have, and I'm going to try and cut this one down. It's another one of these uh, Henry's and it's got the piper. The Scots Piper there. Hope you can see that nice and clearly. And that was made in Edinburgh. Yeah, the bottle's broken at the top, but that's okay. We can take a bottle cutter to it around here and we'll get rid of that. And we have a cool cut down bottle with a really cool embossed design. Pause here for a second because I've just seen this. And I'm not sure what it is. It looks like a stopper. Oh, oh, that's interesting. I'm going to take that along and show that to Nicole because there's some writing on there. I'm not sure if it's a vulcanite stopper or if it's uh, another material, but uh, quite interesting to see what it says on there. Now, there's something sticking out of the ground there. I'll get a wee bit closer. And it looks like it's a sort of crystal. I can see it's broken, but oh, is that so beautiful. See if I can hold it against the light. Now that is very nice. It's not like I can uh, make anything with it. It kind of looks like Christmas, like the top of a Christmas tree, but it's really heavy. I think I'm gonna leave it here, but it's very beautiful. I've also, I think, I think I've noticed a pipe stem. Now let's see. I'm looking for pipe stems, so really that should be my main focus. Is that a pipe stem, you think? This little tiny piece here? Yes, that is a pipe stem. It's a small piece. I'm hoping that there might be uh, some writing on it, but you can never really tell if you're at the dump if there's any writing on these. So I'm going to take this. Oh, that's very cute. I don't think I've seen a wee bottle like that one before. Just going to have to swing over here to see it. 
well, I think I've seen some like this before, but I don't, I've never ever found one like this before. Well, lit by the sun at the moment. We put it into the shade a wee bit to get a better look at it. Actually, no, it looks better in the light. I found something and I think you're really going to like it. Oh, what's that then? It's something from Duncan and Flockhart in Edinburgh. That's very cool. We did a wee section on Duncan and Flockhart a wee while ago. Mm -hmm. uh, these were the experimental chemists who were based on the uh, the bridges in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. And they're probably best known for having supplied chloroform to uh, the medical school in Edinburgh when they were doing the pioneering work on anesthesiology. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, I thought you might like this. Sadly, it is very broken. Uh, I'm going to leave it up to you if you want to take it home. <laughs> oh, I think we'll probably leave it. It's a wee bit pointy, a wee bit sharp. Yeah, we'll take a picture. Check this out, I found something that you're really going to like. Well that's the sun coming through, very <laughs> cool. So what you got? I've got an Oxo bottle for you. No, that looks like a Bovril bottle to me. <laughs> yeah, they're similar shapes, right? <laughs> that's really lovely. Do you know what, I think the bottle, although it's very similar to a Bovril bottle, mm -hmm. it's a wee bit more elegant, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It's yeah. got curves. Yeah, it's like a kind of teardrop shape almost. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. What a really lovely wee bottle. Yeah. You know, very occasionally, both Nicole and I see exactly the same thing at exactly the same time. It doesn't happen very often, but today, it's one of those times. <laughs> we were both just looking at something else, just off to the right of where I am just now, and we turned around and we went, oh, almost simultaneously, because we found <laughs> these wee cream jars. I really love these wee ointment jars. Well, we're in luck, because there's quite a few of these things around there. I can see the one that's closest to me is broken, but the other three look fine. Yeah, this one's oh, fine. Oh, wee bit of a chip. Ish, well, fine ish. Yeah, that yeah. That was perfect. Yeah, yeah, this one's broken though, so I'm yeah. going to move that out of the shot. We've got a different kind of dish, but do you know mm -hmm. what? I'll throw that in. All right. It's just lying off to the side of me there. Yeah, and yeah. And that makes the numbers back up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this one is like for polishing paste, and these ones were more for toothpaste, and um, there's anchovy paste as well. Anchovy so, paste, isn't Yeah, uh huh. Well, you wouldn't yeah. want to get mixed up, right? Uh huh. Get no. your anchovy paste <laughs> and your toothpaste muddled up. No, you certainly mm. wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Ah, but I can see there's a cod bottle here. Can you go over there? Okay, let's see. You want to maybe pick that out and we'll take a closer look at it. Mm. Oh, that ah. neck fracture as well. Uh -huh. The marble thieves. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Say marble thieves. <laughs> They've been and gone. They've yeah. been and gone. <laughs> Some writing on it. Okay, well that's nice. Leech and Co. Edinburgh. Okay, I'll take that out. I've just seen a tiny wee bottle. I'm just going to go and grab that. Okay. But here's a wee last look. <laughs> before I take <laughs> them up. Those before Nicole <laughs> stashes them away in the bag. Next time you see these, if you're lucky enough to see them at all, they're going to be clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We might put them on our Etsy shop. Actually, I came here for one little bottle and I can see a little trove. A little trove of little bottles. That's the one that I spotted uh, when we were looking at those cream jars. I think these are really cool. Not sure if there's anything on that. Can't quite see it. A bit dirty just yet, but we'll take that one and then we'll come down here. Now I'm climbing into a hole as I come down, so I might slip. We'll see. And there's these two wee bottles as well. So we're getting three for one here. That's awesome. I think these wee ones look quite similar. This one's a bit stubbier than this one. It's a bit bigger. We'd have contained a bit more. And then there's this wee round one. Lovely wee things. Three wee bottles for the collection. Cool. I think this is a really nice one and it's got the glaze on it and I'm pretty certain it'll clean up really, really nice. Now what you can see around this, I'm going to take this out of the shot, is a broken ginger beer bottle and it's probably all from the same bottle. So there's a neck here, it's a bit here, actually it's this mineral water and 
this piece. Hmm, no, maybe that's from a different bowl. That's nice. It's a, uh, oops, it's a half dome face. It's still got an ear on it. That's very nice. I think I'll take that. Now we're on our way back to the car and we'd, uh, we'd spotted a few wee bottles here and uh, we said, you know, we're, we're going to pick these up on our way back. It's alongside a slightly bigger bottle. There we go. Excuse the bumpiness. This here. Now, I think that may actually have a little bit of label on it. I'm going to pop that up there, we'll take a closer look. Let the camera adjust its light. Now it looks to me like there's maybe a bit of label on that. I'm going to turn the contrast down a bit so you can maybe see it a bit better. So we'll take that one and, uh, well, <laughs> I'll see if I can find the others. It's a real mystery! What? All those little bottles that we saw when we were coming out yeah. here, they've all gone! I can't see them! Okay. I can only see this tiny wee one. Well, oh. I say tiny, it's not that tiny. That's Quite nice. cute, isn't it? Yeah, that's really nice. I think there's a bit of label on there. It's hard to see if there is or not. Oh. But what might have been in a wee skinny bottle like that, you reckon? Oh, I have no idea. They are very, uh, well, they, they had the snap top, uh, so I'm really not sure what was in these. Yeah, so the snap top is, it wouldn't have had a screw, it wouldn't have had a stopper, it would have had a bit of glass on there, and you just broke that off and used the contents. Yeah. They were very common on inkwells and mm -hmm. the like, yeah. uh, but this isn't an inkwell. No, no, so yeah, well, and it I don't to know. Me like it's not a refill bottle either. No, no, probably not. Well, if anybody knows what was would have been in these bottles, let us know in the comments. nice this is the uh, the little treasures left behind for us and I'm gonna take this lovely little pot here it's very nice I think it's milk glass there's a little bottle here it's a nice looking little bottle I think it might want to come home with me there's a sauce bottle that I'm gonna leave behind this one says milk powder on it interesting but it's a little big. Then there's this bottle here. That's got a really funny shape. I don't think there's anything on it. I think some of these bottles had sort of honey in them. I don't think that one did. I'm not sure. Looks like there's a something from a fireplace here. Very nice, very elaborate. Not really what I'm after. So from the all these, I'm gonna take these two this small they fit the bill of small finds that we love now there's something very exciting or well maybe it's not exciting we'll have to see when we get there uh, -huh. uh just right in front of me just now Ooh. it's a cod bottle oh, no it's not uh, a whole cod bottle uh but that neck <laughs> uh is still very much intact and i wonder mm. if that means mm. that we have a wee marble in there okay. what do you think no, I think somebody's uh, a wee marble thief has been in here ah, and they've okay. pinched that marble out. So, ah, yeah. no, uh -huh. just a wee bit of dirt in there that's yeah, making a tink, yeah. tink, tink noise. But look up here, is that a stopper? Is that what I think it is? Oh, just there. Now, that's very interesting, isn't it? Yeah, that's very cool. Uh -huh. I, can, I find it hard to get in here because I'm, I'm climbing under a Sorry. tree. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's not, you're not in the way, it's the tree that's in the way. <laughs> Okay, I, I think, think we need to take that out and have a closer look, right? Is it? Is it? It is! Oh, that's cool. Yes. Has that got a screw on it as well? No. No, no, it's just a bit of dirt. Okay, I'll put it here. Uh-huh. There we are. Okay, that's very nice. I think I might uh, take that uh, cod bottle for inspection and this. I'm just going to have a wee scrape around here. See if I can see something. Pottery there. We have a plate. Oh, haha! -ha. There's a pipe stem there. Can you see it? 
just here. So that's actually what I was looking for, a wee pipe stem. Now, uh, we have opened a new YouTube channel and it's called Crafting with Scottish Mudlarking. And we really need you to subscribe there. If you love our jewellery and craft videos, they are going to move to our new channel, Crafting with Scottish Mudlarking. Can you help us reach 1,000 subscribers, like really, really fast? Please subscribe. Thank you. That's a bit of good fortune. I was hoping that I'd find one of these today. Actually, I'm hoping that I'll find quite a few. And if we find more than a couple, then we might be able to compare them. But let's have a wee look at this. I think this is this bit of stem, and this is a really nice pipe bowl. Now let's see the stem. Don't see any markings on the stem just yet, but we'll have to take a closer look at that. Again, you can see by the shape there, it has that oval shape. I'll try and stand that up in the ground so you can see this a wee bit better. Now that oval shape is uh, really typical of a cutty pipe and that's because uh, the stems were stronger they were workers pipes and they would last longer now this I wonder does this have anything on the bowl commonly find the hand ones here that's what we found again and again it has the marks TW So what do we really know about these initials, TW, on all these clay pipe bowls then? If I'm going to be 100% honest, and we really should be honest about this, we know absolutely nothing. And that's because there is no single piece of primary data that tells us what the initials TW means. But, in the absence of primary data, we need to look at what a good argument looks like, and we need to look at what a bad argument looks like. So I'm going to do that right now. The dispute over exactly what the initials TW mean is nothing new. Ideas concerning what these initials mean have proliferated. But they're only ideas. Without a primary source of evidence, we are left to consider what a good theory looks like versus what a bad one looks like. In 1989, Dennis Gallagher, clay pipe expert, wrote, The origin of this style of pipe has been the topic of much speculation. Gallagher's article draws from extensive published research, interviews and anecdotal evidence to suggest that TW pipes may be plagiarising the work of Thomas White, the most prominent pipe maker of 19th century Edinburgh, who was active between 1825 and 1847. A short comment follows Gallagher's piece. There, notable collector Peter Hammond makes a much more tenuous claim. He states that TW means the workman. His evidence is pure assumption that the letters TW correspond to the words the workman, a common motif that's found on some pipe stems. Back when I lectured research methods and analysis of material culture, I'd warn students strongly against false correlations like this. Evidence is needed to put a theory forward, and primary data is needed to say anything at all conclusive. Both are lacking in the idea that TW means the workman. 21 years later, Hammond has dropped his old argument. In 2010, he says that the association between the initials TW and the words the workman is coincidental and not actual at all. So Hammond's idea that TW means the workman is an argument that he dropped at least 12 years ago. He does suggest that some people mistook TW to mean the worker. Hammond also states that there is a very plausible case to suggest that TW originates from the name Thomas White. So now Hammond agrees with Gallagher. Remember though, there's no primary source of evidence here. No design papers, no letters, no ledgers, nothing at all in the historical record to provide a conclusive or absolute answer to the question, what do the initials TW mean? Good research relies on up-to-date sources Good research does not make absolute claims without offering primary supporting evidence to do so. And it does not rely on repetition of the same discredited point to sound believable. I'll finish by saying this. In this case, lacking any primary data to refer to, I defer to the experts who hold the opinion that TW most likely originates with the name Thomas White. 
Well, I think that's the last that I'm going to be talking about these TW pipes for a long, <laughs> long time. Right now, though, I think what I want to do is have a look at our three favourite finds. So, to kick off then, Nicole, what are your three favourite finds from today? I really love this cod bottle. It's such an amazing bottle. It has embossing on both sides. Isn't that cool? I think one of the coolest things about that is the fact that it has the wee Edinburgh Castle thing. You know, like you see in the heraldic symbol for Edinburgh on... I think it's like on flags and stuff like that. That's really cool. Yeah, I think that might have to be a keeper once you've cut that down. The second favourite, that's got to be that wee doll's head. I really love the detail on this. Once it's scrubbed clean, you can see the eyelashes and you see the wee mould number on the back of the head. My third favourite find has to be that huge glass stopper from the Alua Glassworks. I wonder what kind of bottle it capped. Maybe a chemical bottle? Yeah, I guess. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. What were your favourite finds? Well, number one on my favourite finds has to be that OXO bottle. We find the Bovro bottles, but I don't think we've ever found an OXO bottle before. And you know the shape of it? So much more elegant as well. It really is, isn't it? My second favourite find really has to be that capstan inkwell. I think that's really cool. It's such a beautiful shape. We found one similar to that before, but I'm going to put up a wee photograph of them both side by side so that you can see how different they are as well. My third favourite find, I'm going to hand that to Nicole because I know that there's something that she really liked. Oh, that's so sweet. And it is something really sweet. It's that tiny wee doll's teacup and the little milk jug yet that you found. I really love those two things. They're just so cute, aren't they? Well, that's our favourite finds for today and that's us for today. If we missed something that you especially liked, please just let us know about it in the comments. Please remember that our jewellery and craft videos are moving to a new channel. Everything's going to be in the description, the links to the new channel and we really need you to subscribe. Only remains for me to say thank you so much for watching, liking and commenting on the videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do take a second to subscribe to the channel. It really does help us. A massive, massive thanks to you to everyone who's helping to support this channel through Kofi and through Etsy. That means the world to us and really keeps us going and it helps us fund what we do. Thank you so much for your support. We'll see you next time.